Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing from Faber-Castell. They've sent me this gorgeous glam box and I really am excited to share with you what's inside. This glam box is to celebrate the release of their new metallic text liners. And there are four gorgeous colours, including shiny silver, glamorous gold, pearl rose and brilliant ruby. It's always so exciting to receive a box like this and being able to go through and enjoy all of those new goodies. And later on in the video, I will be sharing with you some colour swatches of these pens and also some pages that I create in my journal. And in the box was also these two lovely pencils and these gorgeous gold and silver washi tapes from MT. The first thing that I like to do with any new pens is try them out in my journals by creating some colour swatches. I always go back and then label which pens I've used so I've got that as a reference guide for when I want to use them again at a later date. I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up but they've got a gorgeous glittery metallic effect to them. And I also swatch them on this black paper and they show up really beautifully on there. Now that I've finished the swatches, I'm going to create a page in my journal using those metallic text liners. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some thin strips of washi tape along each side of the page. And I'm just using the cheapest washi tape that I can find because one of the bonuses of that is that it doesn't stick that well to your page. And I'm only using these to mask off the area so I want to be able to easily remove them at a later date. I'm now going to use each of the pens in turn. I'm just going to draw a line about two dots apart all the way down the page. And one of the great things about having that washi tape is that you can be sure you're going to have a nice clean beginning and end to each of the lines. And I'm going to repeat that process all the way down to the bottom of my page. And I'm really happy with how this page is beginning to look and how beautifully those colours all go together. Once I've finished adding all of the lines, I'm going to really carefully peel away those two strips of washi tape. And as you can see, they come away really easily and leave those lovely neat edges. For my writing, I'm going to use a Faber-Castell fountain pen and I decided that it would be really nice to create a spring wish list page. So I'm going to write down all of the things that I'd really like to do over the next few months as the weather starts getting nicer. So I'm writing in my heading and then I'm going to list out each of the activities. And instead of using a bullet point, I thought it'd be fun to just doodle in a little flower. I received this fountain pen from Faber-Castell in a previous unboxing that I filmed on YouTube. So I will leave a link to that on the description box down below. I'm so excited now we're getting closer to spring. I'm already imagining all of the different things that I want to get up to and getting the garden looking really nice and taking lots more walks and picnics outside. For some extra decoration, I'm using one of the text liners to add some dots all the way around the outside of my page. 
And the final thing I'm going to do to this spread is add some of the pieces of confetti and sequins that came inside the box. I thought they'd look really lovely and also it would be a great reminder for me on how beautiful that box looked when I opened it up. So I'm just playing around with them to get them exactly where I want them on my page and then I'm going to use some Pritt stick to glue them down. And it's really nice because it's added some decoration but it's not going to add loads of bulk to my journal pages. And then I'm going to add three of the pink hearts on top. So that is my first journal page all completed and I have to say I'm absolutely in love with the different colours of those text liners and I just know that I'm going to be using them over and over again. The next thing I'm going to do is create a really quick and simple quote page. The pen that I'm using for this quote is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen with a broad nib and I'm lettering out the words don't be afraid to sparkle. I thought that that was completely appropriate for these beautiful text liners. Once I've finished doing the lettering I'm going to use each of the different colours just to add some shading inside the letters. And this is a really quick and easy way to add a colourful quote page to your journal or even a cover page for a new month. I'm thinking that in the February setup for my bullet journal, it'd be really nice to have a sparkly metallic mood tracker for the month. So you may well see that happen on my plan with me for February. So that is now the second page completed in my journal. I've had so much fun using these pens and I will of course leave a link to them down below. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, it would be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down below. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one.